Goodness is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than hate. Light is stronger than darkness and life is stronger than death. Therefore, we should stop being afraid of what can go wrong and start being excited about what can go right. And as we all know, it's Dashara today, the festival which reminds us of this famous phrase, victory of good over evil. We have grown up listening to, to this one. So, is good and evil always outside us? Is it always about Ravana and Rama? What about the good and evil inside us? Yes, we all have a positive and a negative side to us. And it depends which one we are choosing to feed. Yes, the one we feed wins. The negative in us or the evil in us keeps pulling us away from being good and loving. It asks us to indulge into various desires and fall trap of lot of addictions. Now the evil in us would ask us to binge watch a series and finish all the episodes in one night without planning your day, just lying on the bed doing nothing. You don't need to work hard. Just eat your junk food, a packet of chips has the power to control our mind. It would ask us to go for easy money rather than working hard achieving your dreams. It would ask us to indulge into gambling. Thanks to the technology, it has become so easy these days. The celebrities have glorified this whole gambling thing which is happening online. Look at the condition of the homes which are going through this where a person is addicted to gambling and they are going through a lot of financial crisis. It would ask you to indulge into porn, the addiction again, which is very difficult to break. Imagine that a short movie, a porn movie has the capability to control this powerful mind of yours. It would ask you to not do anything and just lie down, be a couch potato. This is the power of evil, but know one thing about evil, that it is a parasite and it thrives on the goodness. And the goodness in you knows all these things. It already has an idea that you are being controlled by a strong negative force, which is asking you to just keep scrolling through your phone, do nothing, stay idle. But the goodness is actually the real virtue of you. It knows that you are doing something wrong. It is just that you have to start feeding the goodness and start starving the evil side of yours. This mind is very powerful. You are underestimating its capabilities. It knows what is right. It knows what is wrong. Your soul, your heart is telling you that you have to shift your focus. You have to break your patterns. You have to stop getting indulged into addictions. So let the good in you tell you and direct you. Let it show you the path towards your dreams and your goals. Yes, believe in the power of this mind. This mind is very powerful, but you are letting a few organs of your body, a few uh, other outside things control this. Aren't you more strong than your other desires and addictions? Yes, you are stronger than that. Believe in this. Let your evil be defeated. Make your goodness win. That should be the goal. Today on the Shara, tell yourself that you are going to burn this Ravan inside you, the evil inside you. It is within all of us. But yes, we do have some evils outside us. The people who are adding a lot of negativity in our life. The evils outside us. Yes, they are there. The people who don't serve any purpose in our life. They just keep pulling us down. They do all the wrong things to us. They are depriving us of our peace of mind. But we again let it all happen to us. We let our self-respect be punctured because of these people. On the name of love, on the name of relationships, no, a person who truly loves you would never do all these things to you. A person who loves you would never take advantage of you. No advantage at all, no physical, no financial, no emotional, no mental harm will be caused to you by a person who is certainly and seriously concerned about you. Know that this person is not right for you. If the person is depriving you of your basic needs, if the person is depriving you of happiness, 
then the person is an evil in your life you have to cut that person off we are allowed to protect our boundaries we are allowed to take charge of our positivity we are allowed to do good things in life and to keep good people who add some value into our life take this charge back these people can ruin your life completely don't let that happen to yourself know the good and the evil in your life within us and outside us it is our job no one else would come and tell you that this is evil and this is good you are wise enough to choose that for yourself do that learn to say no to these people learn to set your boundaries in such a way that these people cannot harm you start respecting yourself more start loving yourself more start taking care of your own needs your own positivity don't give this power to other people don't give this power to external forces not to the porn not to the gamble not to these toxic people not to the food items the junk which is controlling you the tongue is controlling your entire body just imagine are we that small are we that weak no we are strong understand your strength your mind is a powerful thing fill it with positive thoughts and your life will start to change in a positive way so my friends it's high time now that you take charge of your life don't let your evil win let your virtues be victorious happy dashera to all of you